Hello everybody, DJ Vic Vapor here. I'm going to do a little um, additional video for the Cthulhu Beginners course. I know uh, several people have commented they're having trouble loading MIDI files or importing them. So I took a, another look at it and just wanted to kind of see if I could clear some of that up and maybe get uh, get everybody on the right track here. So I'm in Ableton, of course, but this should apply to any DAW because if we're talking about the plugin itself. Um, so let's open up Cthulhu. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take it out of the art mode. Go ahead and turn off this speaker. We don't need any of that. And the next thing I'm going to do is go to the menu side here where it says chord presets right here. And I'm going to init. Now I've initted the, the plugin. So what I figured out was one of the best ways, at least the way this works consistently for me is when you import a MIDI file, it's going to start at whatever note is assigned right here. So sometimes it might import and be off off the keyboard screen here. You might not even see it, and it looks like it didn't import. And even when you hit some key buttons, it's not going to play because it's it's looking for you to hit the exact key that you assigned it to. So let's just go ahead and take this C minus one and make it C three. See how this this light or indicator is coming across now. Before, when we were down here, it was off out of our vision, and now here it comes across. So let's just go ahead and put this at C3. Give me a second to get there. I think I passed it. There it is. C3. Now, you can put it anywhere, but C3 is kind of just a, you know, almost in the middle, kind of a common ground. So it's not going to affect what we import. It's just going to give it a place to place the imported file. So now that we've got C3 assigned in the middle here, let's go ahead and import our MIDI. So we go to Menu, Import MIDI File, and I'm going to go to my desktop, and I'm going to grab a MIDI file right here, and open. So now, you see how it's right in the middle there? And all the blue area is the actual chord or MIDI file that we uh, imported. So I'm pushing, uh, I think, the letter D right now on my computer keyboard, not getting any audio. Let's turn this back on. Now we've got that, that file available to us, but it's only available from the uh, left side of the blue indicator to the right side. That's the full length of our imported MIDI chord. And then, of course, you can go to uh, the menu and do the transform techniques here where you can populate empty slots with variations, move chords, and things like that that I've already discussed in a previous video. So hopefully this helps. Just a quick, easy way to kind of update you on importing MIDI files. And um, good luck. Like I said, I'm pretty sure this should resolve the problem. But uh, any more questions or concerns, don't don't, don't hesitate to, uh, you know, comment something in the uh, area below. Hey, thanks, guys. Have a great holiday and uh, peace.